Welcome to Moving Math and Science and an introduction to inequalities. A math inequality is a statement that compares two expressions using one of the following symbols. For example, the statement is an inequality that states that 6 is less than 8. When writing inequalities, comparison symbols are used. Let's go over them. You have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and is not equal to. An easy way to remember which symbol is less than or greater than is to remember the smaller end of the symbol is less than the greater end, and the greater end is greater than the smaller end. When graphing, use an open circle to indicate less than and greater than, because the number is not included, and a closed circle to indicate less than or equal to and greater than and equal to, because the number is included. Okay, now let's solve an inequality. To solve an inequality, you follow the same steps as solving an equation. The only difference is, anytime you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative sign, you must reverse the direction of the inequality sign. So let's get started with solving a couple of inequalities. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this inequality and then graph it. So we need to get A by itself, so we will create an inverse operation, divide both sides by 15. When we do this, these cancel, bring down the A. So A is less than 90 divided by 15 is 6. So now let's go ahead and graph it. And we know that since it is less than, so let's find 6. It's less than, and it needs to be open because it is not less than and equal to. So it will be less than 6. So it will look like that on the number line. Okay, now with this one, it introduces one thing. Whenever you divide by a negative number, you need to flip the inequality sign. So let's work through it and see if we can't understand this. So let's first apply the distributive property, 9 times uh, x. So it will be negative 9x plus 9 times 4. What is that? That will be 36, negative 36. And then we have plus 7 is less than equal to 34. Now we can combine some like terms, negative 36 and positive 7. I'm going to bring this down, and that will equal a negative 29. And then that is less than or equal to 34. And so let's move the 29 to the other side by adding 29 to both sides. Okay. And so when we bring this down, we have negative 9x is less than or equal to these cancel. And this is 63. And then we're going to divide through by negative 9. And we need to flip the sign. Okay. And so we're going to divide through by negative 9. And so we have x is less than or equal to uh, 63 divided by negative 9 becomes negative 7. Okay, so now we're going to graph. Remember, we divided through by negative sign, so we're going to flip the sign. Now we have negative 7, so we have, we flip the sign. Now it is greater than or equal to negative 7. First, we're going to go with close because uh, it includes the 7, and then it will look like this. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.